Okay, a lot of questions came up and said, why'd you stop the fight, Rep? Well, normally, this guy gets way up underneath and he starts dropping bombs, okay? That's okay if he drops them and Mike's protecting himself. He's not getting hurt. The crowd looks like he's really getting hurt, okay? What I do as a referee, if nothing's getting through, I'm gonna tell the fighter down there, protect yourself, protect yourself, and basically what I'm trying to do is let the fighter know down below, if you don't protect yourself or you don't get out of this position, I'm gonna stop this fight. Well, I'll let this go for a couple battles until I actually see Mike's head hit the ground. That's one. He comes up again. That's two. Now you're messing with the brain. The brain's actually bouncing on the back of the skull, and now you have a concussion. That's when I have to stop the fight. Most of the time, fighters will sit there and try to pass uh, kind of shrimp out. That's what they're basically trying to do, and they'll want to re-guard. Sometimes the guy's too powerful and just starts dropping elbows. Uh, as an MMA rep, I will stand over here, and I always have to stand this angle. There's no reason to get back here because nothing's going on. I can see his face, I can see his face. As this guy's dropping elbows, usually the bad part of it is around the guy's eye. Once I see a cut below the eyebrow or just below the eye, and it opens up, I'm calling timeout. That fighter's going to go see the doctor, and the doctor will probably stop the fight. If there's gashes here, I'm not worried about it. No danger. You just got to cut, and you're going to be uh, stitched up.